session at the gym this morning and thoroughly enjoyed that but I couldn't film myself for you because you know what it's like when you're doing that sort of stuff you're looking all hot and sweaty and and whatnot anyway um, what I was gonna say is that, like you don't have to go to the gym to like, get your weight loss and stuff but it probably would help with so many things to do with your you know your health and stuff and um, I really enjoy the gym but I do find that I prefer to do the weights rather than the cardio stuff um, and especially because like, they're two different sort of exercises and if you know about much about this is aerobic and anaerobic as to which you're doing you don't really need to worry too much about that but if you've got um, if you're doing cardio you're going to probably burn like more calories there and then when you're doing your, your strength stuff with your weights um, you're going to be able to sleep at night and when you're sleeping you're still going to be burning more calories then as well which is great so um, I just I don't know I just like doing the weights I get a bit of a buzz out of it so um, got on the scales this morning because I didn't realize it was weighing day but it was weighing day and um, I've lost another pound which is good so that's a total of four pounds in all in well, five days really um, obviously it's going to slow up a little bit so I've decided that I'm going to mind the meals I'm not going to have like so many apples and things because I was having a couple of maybe three apples a day a piece of fruit they're quite high in sugar and I'm a person that really reacts to sugar quite a lot um, so that's that well I've got to say I'm feeling really good and um, there's a few hormonal things going on this week which I had forgotten about so that might make a little bit of a change um, also did open my bowels yesterday so it's um with those two things I think my next weigh in is supposed to be it says on day nine but it probably means like when you finish so I'm going to do it like day 10 because then I've got a whole of day nine and then weighing in the morning you're not going to like do day nine and then weigh in the evening because you're going to weigh more so I don't know whether to weigh day nine and then day 10 as well whether to just wait and do day 10 I might do that um, I don't know I find it really hard because I just like getting on the scales and knowing where I'm at but so far so good, I'm feeling really good. I think I'm looking better. I did have a bit of a dark circle under that eye particularly before I started and that's gone. Um, my backache isn't as bad as it normally is, which is a good thing. Um, so slowly but surely all these things are really sort of like sorting me out bit by bit. I'm gonna try the, there's a special toothpaste, um, which is aloe vera toothpaste. It doesn't have any fluoride in it and there's for's and against for having fluoride. I thought I might give that a try because fluoride is, a, is toxic, that's why they say you mustn't swallow it. Um, but it's also apparently very good for helping your teeth. So I might try the toothpaste as well, which is good. Um, I'm really having some success with the skincare range of this like same uh, Forever Living stuff. And I do struggle with my skin as well, I think, because part of the Crohn's disease you struggle to um, absorb your water. And if you're not absorbing your water so well, then obviously it's not getting to the skin. So if you're going to take it from outside in as well as inside out, that's going to be better. But I've been drinking loads and loads of water and I feel like I really want to just keep drinking loads of water. It's very strange. I've had this like funny feeling about wanting to go and exercise as well. So whatever it's doing to me, it's great. I know with the shakes, they've got quite high levels of vitamin B12 in them. Uh, vitamin B12 is very good for lifting your mood if you're they actually give it as injections for people who are depressed and see if it will help um, because yeah it can uh, loads of actually vitamins can do that as well vitamin D apparently affects your mood slightly too so now I'm just driving off it's a day off for me today which is nice I haven't got to go back into London now until after I finish my clean nine um, so I'm just heading off now to go and have a little look at a university that I may be going to next year so if I can, I'm going to try and sneakily film a few clips to show you because uh, it's a very beautiful building. It's really lovely. I, like it. I love this tune. It makes me want to rock out in the car. now at the university and I'm going to go and have a little wander around and I've got a lady to go and talk to as well about what's going to happen and, and all of that so I'm really excited today. Amazing shopping centre that has the best coffee 
over there and uh, it's just fantastic in there um, I love it and it's just as well it's got cinemas over there and eating places um, and all of this is known as Chatham Maritime it's all to do with the old docks um, so that big building over on the other side of the road there is the university I'm impressed with it I do like it there um, they've offered for me to go to lots of One of my more difficult days I've got to be honest I'm quite hungry today I think it's probably because like, I've got loads of exercise and like I said earlier it's hormonal as well um, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have myself a one egg omelette so I'm gonna just put one egg in the pan I've got a really good pan so I won't need anything with it and just like cook that and then put the tiniest little sprinkle of cheese on top and then that's gonna really fill me with protein and it will keep me going till dinner time because it's only quarter to four right now and I've got quite a lot to do and um, energy's fine just feel quite hungry so um, one egg is about 70 calories a little bit of cheese on top it's not going to take it to more than 100 and I haven't been having like 600 for dinner so maybe I need to up it a little bit because also I don't want to slow my metabolism down too much um, so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to give in to it and have my one egg omelette which of course is very healthy um, for those of you in the States who buy your eggs in a packet, we buy our eggs as eggs, which um, I don't really know much what's the difference in what's in a packet. But if you can get these in the States, they're all good because they're obviously like no one can fiddle with them, can they, inside there. So as long as your chicken's healthy, your egg will be fine. Tomatoes are free foods, I've just got a tomato and got a little bit of turmeric in there as well to give it some flavour. It's very good for anti-inflammatory foods. I've still got to have my fibre, not have my fibre yet, so I'm going to crack my egg in. Finished product, I'm going to enjoy that. It's time to go out and enjoy the evening. I'm going to do some dancing for some exercise and I'm going to drink some bottles of water. Um, but nevertheless, it's going to be a good evening. And Miss CJ Johnson with that car behind the bar. Okay,